Hey guys and welcome back to another Eye Contrast video. Today we're bringing you a short guide on how to track your progress in GT Sport. That means for the daily races, how close you are to the next safety rating or the next driver rating and how many more races it'll take, how many more points it will take to get to the next level. And uh, it'll give you an interesting prospect on how things work and what bracket you are in. So credit to Kudos Prime who has actually made a website for tracking our progress on multiple games, including GT Sport, which is which the video is about. And uh, you can also check out car stats and whatnot. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. But we're gonna jump into the players section and enter our PSN ID, so that's pure eye contrast for me. And I'll just click on my name when it pops up. And as you can see, I've completed 173 races, etc. And those are all my stats. Apparently, I'm in the top 2% for sport mode performances. I'm not sure how that's possible, but apparently so. But nonetheless, those are my stats. But that's not what we're really interested in. What we're interested in is the progress of the driver and safety rating. So just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will find two graphs, including the driver graph and the safety rating graph. And this will show you your driver profile history and your safety rating profile history. I shouldn't really call it a safety rating because it's sportsmanship rating but I just like to generalize things so in both graphs you can see my history of performance where I've uh, joined different brackets over time and those different colors represent different categories so you got S at the top a B C D and so on and it actually outlines in the description below the graph uh, what amount of points are in each bracket and where you should fall uh, as you can see the B grade is one of the biggest categories so I'd assume that's where majority of people would uh, land in terms of performance. Uh, as you can see, you can progress by performing well in races. But what is interesting to note here is the sportsmanship rating actually affects your driver rating. If you perform really badly in terms of sportsmanship throughout a number of races, even if you come first, it can actually decrease your drive rating and bring it back to predefined values, which means that if you're on S and you start taking out a bunch of people and your safety rating goes under 15 or something like that it means that it's going to threshold your progress in driver rating or bring it down so that you cannot exceed that bracket so to improve your driver rating you have to improve your safety rating or sportsmanship rating as well and you've got to do them both pretty much at the same time i guess to improve your driver rating at all but for me you can see my progress where i've actually been in the s bracket for the sportsmanship rating and then it got dropped down significantly after a few races because i disconnected from a few and I just kept on getting hit in uh, some oval tracks. So that really damaged my safety rating. So I'm going to be trying focusing on that to uh, improve my driver rating overall. And then I should be able to have an easier time to progress to a driver rating. Which I'm almost at already anyways. And below the two graphs you can see race by race uh, your mana points and your driver points that you receive. And your overall grade as well from those races. So you can absolutely track your progress uh, really specifically. And see how different performances affect your driver and sportsmanship rating. Which I found pretty helpful. And uh, you can see if you go from like last to first. See how that improves your driver rating. Or if you just stay from first. And uh finish first without change of position see how it uh, affects your driver rating in different ways see which is better and uh, hopefully that helps you out a lot in progressing to the next grade but without doing further experimentation i'd have to say that qualifying on pole and finishing first would probably be the best way to improve your driver rating while keeping at the front and not making contact with others which should improve your safety rating or sportsmanship rating as well in the website there's also other statistics so you can check on other players and and, uh, what uh, amount of people are in different grades but yeah if you're struggling with your driver rating I'd recommend having a look at your sportsmanship rating see if it's thresholding that progress and maybe you'll find the issue out but yeah let me know what your driver rating and safety rating are below in the comments and I'll be sure to read them all if you found this video helpful be sure to leave a like it helps me out a whole bunch subscribe for more and new content and I'll see you all in a brand new video thanks for watching